That's right, everybody. Today we are talking about an awesome plugin for After Effects. It's called Effects Console. It's completely free to download and add into your After Effects and use. So really this plugin really just makes it a lot easier and faster to add effects to layers in After Effects. So, you know, normally when you add effects to layers, it's a pretty simple, quick thing, but when you actually use this plugin, it makes it even faster. And it's just so much nicer to use After Effects with this plugin. It just makes everything seem so much smoother and faster. Anyways, without further ado, we'll check it out. We'll get into it. I have my laptop here and um, let's check it out. Okay, so here we are in After Effects. Uh, I just have a, an image layer here to use as an example. So normally when you apply effects, the process goes something like this. You click the layer, drag your mouse over to the effects panels, type in the effects, maybe we want to add curves, and then you can either just double click here or you know, click and drag the effect onto your layer. So I'll just undo all that. And with Effects Console, the process goes something like this. So you click the layer and just hit a keyboard shortcut and it brings up this dialog here. This is Effects Console. And then you can just type in curves, hit enter and it's applied. Okay, so that's really the key. That is really the key of um, FX Console. It's the keyboard shortcut. That's what saves so much time. You don't have to go click into the effects panel and do all these mouse clicks. Sit the keyboard shortcut, type in your, the effect you want, hit enter, and it applies it to the layer that you have selected. Uh, there are a few other functionalities that it has though that are also pretty nice and pretty useful. So let's take a look at those as well. Okay, so I'll just click my layer here, bring up Effects Console again. So Effects Console does have some awesome other features. First one is aliases. So you'll notice as soon as you start typing anything, if I hit E here, all these effects come up, um, you know, starting with the letter E. Now, if I want to add exposure and I find that I use this effect a lot, like I use exposure all the time or something, um, then it would be very nice if that was at the top of the list because um, it'd be a lot more accessible. So if I go into settings here, it brings up a whole nother dialogue and I can add, you'll see we have the alias column here. I can add exposure as an effect to add an alias to you and then I'll add the alias. So if I just hit the letter E, um, that can be my alias. I'll just hit okay, okay. And now if I type in the letter E, you're gonna see the exposure effect is right at the top here. It's automatically selected. So if I just go do that again, E, it's automatically selected, just hit enter and it gets applied. So it gets just faster and faster because you don't even have to type out the whole word. And if it's an effect that you use all the time, it's just gonna be that much more accessible. Besides that, I'll just go back into the settings. There's also the override column and the override column basically allows you to add override effects. So for example, if I added an override for fill, maybe I create my own custom fill effect um, I can override, you know, if I add fill, it's going to actually add the different effect. Um, and it's actually not working with my, seems like it's not working with my 2020 version of After Effects, so I'm not going to actually demonstrate that, but basically the override allows, um, makes it so that when you apply one effect, it actually applies another effect. Okay, besides that, you'll see I have these numbers here, one to six, and I have uh, it actually goes up to nine, but I've filled them out with some effects. And what that's doing, again, I'll click the layer, bring up Effects Console. Um, they're basically number shortcuts. So if I want to add fill, I actually have that applied to the number one. So I can just hit the number one key and it's going to apply the fill effect to my layer. So I don't even have to type in fill. Um, again, it just gets faster and faster. I can just hit the number one and it's going to apply the effect just like that. So pretty awesome functionality. Besides that, <coughs> um, Effects Console has the gallery um, feature as well. So you can take a bunch of stills and review them in your gallery. And it's just a much nicer way of you know, reviewing stills as opposed to using the snapshot um, feature that After Effects offers. The still gallery allows you to you know, review multiple stills at a time and kind of compare uh, stills that you've taken. And you can also export them as images or even just copy them to the clipboard and you know maybe paste it in an email to a client or something like that. So the still gallery is also just um, an awesome feature as well. Okay, so that is Effects Console. Awesome plugin. Again, it's free. Um, go, go over to Video Copilot, download it if you want. 
Um, thank you so much for watching the video. Do uh, subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, all that stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Cool. Something about my delivery. I need to be more relaxed. Yeah, yeah, yeah.